Superbike racing, the fastest growing and single most exciting form of professional motorcycle racing in America. And no one has commanded as much intense interest in this sport as a 19-year-old boy from Shreveport, Louisiana, by the name of Frederick Burdett Spencer, Jr., known to his millions of fans throughout the country as Fast Freddy. Daytona Beach, Florida, home of the world's most famous racetrack, the Daytona International Speedway, where every year in March, the fastest motorcycle racers on the professional circuit compete in the Bell Superbike 100, the most prestigious event in a form of motorcycle racing that is uniquely American, both in origin and in popularity, a sport that has captivated the imagination of American race fans and revitalized professional motorcycle racing. For the dynamic and aggressive young men who race superbikes, this sign says it all. Men like Roberto Pietri, number 88, 27 years old, from Caracas, Venezuela. And Mike Spencer, number 73, no relationship to Freddie, 25 years old, from Huntington Beach, California. But the man most of the 60,000 fans came to see is none other than number 19, Fast Freddie Spencer. Between 1967 and 1977, Freddie entered 550 amateur races, winning almost 90% of them. Since turning professional in 1978, Freddie has won almost two out of every three races he's entered, chalking up two national championships along the way. Leading off the bike the way that I do allows me to keep the bike more upright and allows me to get on the gas sooner and get a better drive off the turn. Coming down the back straightaway toward the chicane, it is very hard to judge when you should start braking. I'm on the brakes very late going into the chicane, but I end it and start accelerating before I switch from left back to right to get a good drive onto the banking. At 160 miles an hour, there is so much wind force against my head and neck 